Well, today I plan on doing some compression tests. But uh, I brought all my stuff over to the greenhouses because we had a drastic temperature change from uh, yesterday to today. Right now it is actually in the low 70s. And yeah, it's December 27th, two days after Christmas. And I am in a short sleeve shirt. My, uh, my uh, formal age shirt here, American Classic. I like it. I got it at got it when I went on vacation but um, it is literally in the low 70s here I think we might even set a record high for the year and um, so uh, when that happened uh, the garage floor and everything in it uh, was still cold as the temperature rose and now everything is just covered with water uh, and uh, that's why my fluorescent light bulbs wouldn't start in the garage so I didn't have any light so I brought them over here to the greenhouse and we're just going to do our compression tests here. I hope my battery charger slash uh, jumper is okay because it was soaked with water too. Uh, so we'll, uh, we'll see what, what happens here and hopefully everything's alright. But that's why I'm in the greenhouses right now. Well the warm weather sure feels nice but then when winter moves back in it brings a cold front with it. and. I got a tornado watch in effect currently and we're supposed to get some really high winds as this cold front pushes through. If you can if you can hear it, there's uh, rain falling on the plastic roof of this greenhouse and it can get very loud, but currently it's raining very lightly and even then it sounds kind of loud. But uh, we'll do what we can do in here. We're still nice and dry as long as power stays on. And then again, if it went out, our backup generator in there would kick in and handle everything. But uh, I think my battery charger is working all right. I tested it. I got this light here to make sure I got power being supplied while I crank these engines to do the compression test. Uh, I'm going to let them warm up first, so we're going to start them up. And being 70 degrees, they should fire up a lot easier than they did when they were cold. So, uh, let's see. Let's engage the charger here. Let's uh, go with 12 volts, uh, 2 amps and 12 volts for this one because it doesn't pull much. Uh, let's give it 3 primes, like they say. And then let's turn the starter over here. Come on. Shoot, it's probably got condensation in it. Probably going to take a little bit of priming. Ooh. Come on, baby. Come on, fire up. Nope. Throttle slipped back. that warm up a bit so we can do the compression test. Okay, they've been running a few minutes now. Let's shut them down. Eh, it's still raining. Shoot. It'll interfere with the sound a bit, but oh well. Pocket my keys here. Actually, no, because I'm going to be cranking these things. Alright, now I'm going to take the spark plugs off and then uh, hook up my compression tester, and that's when we'll resume the video. Well, I decide to go ahead and do it anyway, <clears throat> even though the rain's pouring down like crazy. <clears throat> Pretty loud. I decided we'd go ahead and do the compression test anyways. Uh, there's not really much to hear, but just stuff to watch. I got the spark plug removed, right there. And I got this piece inserted in here. And then the compression gauge right here. So, let's go ahead and crank this 
this engine a bit and see what kind of compression we get on it. Throttle wide open. Ignition. Here we go. Let's see if it falls in it. Pretty good. That would be 70 PSI right there. All right, let's release it and do it one more time. Get my ignition here. PSI. Okay, there's the Briggs Intex 6.75 horsepower at 70 PSI, and it should hold that for a while. Well, I'll come back in a minute. We'll see how much it's dropped. Okay, it's been about a minute, and it's dropped about 5 PSI. So it's holding pretty good. Alright, that's the compression test. Seems to hold pretty good and reads 70 PSI.